This is a Team Powers Actinium V4 uh, motor. This is a brushless motor, uh, it's high performance motors. Uh, as of this video, all of these motors are ROAR approved. Uh, they're not ROAR pending, they are ROAR approved according to Team Powers. Uh, and if you look at the ROAR approved list, it's on there as well. So, uh, let's see. We have sensor cable, uh, looks like a three inch sensor cable. And we have our 9.5. And uh, Team Powers also provides this little sheet of paper here with different motors and their KVs. Uh, I'm not sure other companies do this. As of now, I think they might be one of the few, if not the only one. So if you look at this, this will give you a rough idea. Now we're, uh, we're gonna be looking at the 9.5, but I'll show all of them. So 9.5 should be at about 4,200 KV, according to them, uh, but it doesn't tell me degrees of timing. Let's see, oh, zero program timing. So that would be with zero timing. All right, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and connect this. Now, uh, I'm gonna need a, I'm just gonna use a little piece of tape uh, for it. This way I don't accidentally short anything. And we'll go ahead and put this in here. And then we'll go ahead and connect it. All right, so we have our ABC. We'll go ahead and do the sensor wire first. And I'm gonna be changing the timing. So as of now, the timing on the end bell is 30 degrees, 30 degrees. Uh, so we'll check it at 30 degrees. All right, so our C is here to the far end. And then our A is the other extreme. And then I'll, let's see, hopefully I have enough space here. Now I'm gonna have to, oh, perfect. And they're not touching, so we are good. Uh, so I'm gonna run it at different degrees of timing. Right now we're gonna begin with 30. Now it says 30 on the end bell. Uh, we'll see according to the motor analyzer what the degrees of timing are. And we have 30, 30 degrees with a 31, 28, and 31. Now keep in mind, this is going to vary motor by motor. This is just one sample of many, uh, but this will give you an idea. Uh, here we go, let's look at KV. Uh, I'm gonna go to green, yellow, and then red. You generally don't wanna run motors for too long like this, but that's how I'm gonna do it. That way you can pause the camera and look at them. At the end, I am going to provide a table because I'm gonna be comparing this to a 7.5 and a Probably just to you know start off with 30 timing and then put some turbo in there in the ESC. Uh, and then I'll just gear it low for torque and then I'll have the turbo boost for speed. That's the idea behind it. Uh, I just realized I changed the timing, but I did not give you the KV readings or anything. Uh, so, well, let's do this one and then we can go back to the other if need be. Maybe I'll just skip it. Maybe not. And timing, we have 38, uh, 38, 37, 40. All right, this time I will do the KVs.
right. Average 33. Oh, this is very similar to those numbers. Ah, maybe I already did this. Well, this is very similar to numbers that I've gotten previously, so I'm actually going to skip this. Uh, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna move on to the table now at this point. This is the data set for the Team Powers Actinium V4. So here's the V4. Now the V4 is the current generation. Uh, I only have V3 information to compare it to, which is the previous generation. So this is the 9.5, which is the uh, motor that we were testing. So we have uh, all the different tests here, 30, 38, 40, 46, and 50 average. And I'm going to compare it to the, the 7.5 previous generation and the 13.5 previous generation, see if there's uh, much of a difference. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna use is I'm actually gonna use amperage uh, to do a comparison. So here we have a 4.5. Uh, this one's the closest that we have. Now here, our KV at that amperage is 3,870 versus th this is a massive difference. This is 10,000 kV difference between the two, 4,851. Now timing here was 37 average, timing over here was 38. So it's about the same timing. Now if we went to say 40 and 42, that's 3880. 49.44. Now, keep in mind that um, this motor being less turns will rev up higher. Uh, usually more turns, motors tends to rev up a lot higher within the same family of motors. That's something to keep in mind. Doesn't necessarily mean that it has more power, more torque. Think about it this way. If you get an engine from a uh, let's just say a Honda S2000, that rev is quite high. Now, as far as power, it has nowhere close the same amount of power as, say, a 7.3 turbo diesel, a modern one. Well, uh, 7.3 hasn't been around for a while, uh, so whatever engine replaced it. Uh, but the S2000 is going to rev a lot higher, but it's not going to have as much power as that turbo diesel which is going to rev a lot slower. So those are things to consider, uh, the vehicle that it's going on, etc. Now let's compare with the 13.5. So if we compare with the 13.5, closest KV would be this 5.4. We're looking at 4,098. This is a 13.5. This is a 9.5. Even if I went with the higher KV, the 5.6, this is still a lower KV than this motor for about the same amperage, uh, which is something that I found interesting. I was not expecting this at all. So uh, these motors, the V4, fourth generation, uh, based on this, it seems they got slower as far as revs, so they no longer rev as high. Uh, unfortunately, I have no way of testing uh, or doing an accurate test on power and comparing these right now, but maybe these are like the diesels and these are like the gasoline four cylinders where they rev higher, but they're not as powerful. That's a possibility. Uh, if you have more insight, please comment below and uh, let us know. Now, the purpose of this motor, uh, I bought this motor just for fun. So far, I've been running the 17.5 on my SC 6.2. Uh, it's fun, it's slow, uh, it's controllable. Uh, if you're just getting into it, 17.5 is a great way to just learn how to drive your vehicle, especially for tuning, uh, because it's slow enough to where you can see uh, what the truck is doing versus this one would be too fast. And it could be you're driving more than the tuning of the truck versus over here, it's 
so slow and so tamed. I shouldn't say it's so slow. It's it's very good on the turns. Uh, just certain jumps you're probably not going to be able to make. And the straight, you're going to be pretty slow. Uh, but uh, that's the reason why. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this with this. And one of the reasons why I want this information is so I can figure out where to set the timing on this one and then the gearing so that I can have something that will work better than the previous setup. So if I look at consumption, uh, I do have a 5.3 and a 5.3. Now, currently I'm running this motor at approximately 40 degrees timing. So I'm somewhere in between, but if, if we were to just take the average between these, we would be looking at about 3,100, uh, let's say KVs. So 3,100 KVs, uh, even if I took this one, uh, 5.3, 5.3, uh, I do have an increase in KVs and it's a significant one. Now, um, if we go back to the other ones, the reason why I was saying this may actually have more power despite it being slower is because this Phantom Motor 17.5, in my opinion, performed better than the Team Power 17.5. Uh, now that was my experience. Maybe it was just the motors that I received. Keep in mind that is also a possibility. If you have experience with these two motors or any other motors that you'd like to pitch in, maybe a Trinity, um, maybe a Hobbywink just stock, uh, please put it in the comments. Uh, let me know. But back to these. Uh, if we look at the timing here, I'm set at 40, but we're going to use this 45 as a benchmark. Over here, I would be at... Uh, 38, which in the end bell, it reads 40, which means that I would have more KV, more speed. Uh, turns, everything's fine. I really don't need more. It's just uh, straight away and the long jumps. So I can use something like this and notice that the amps are precisely the same. And I can gear this one down a bit. So one of the issues with this one is uh, with a 21 pinion, I was not making certain jumps. I mean, it's really just the quads. Uh, but when I replaced it with a 23, uh, I was able to make them, but not consistently. Uh, sometimes I would barely make it. Uh, that's the reason why I need something with a, a little more pep, and I'm going with this. So I could use a motor like this that revs up higher and then gear it lower so I can match, say, the end speed, but it'll have much quicker acceleration uh, because of the gearing. Uh, that's the reason why, because really what I need is the acceleration to get me through the jump. And then the other nice thing, too, is uh, because I'm operating at about the same uh, degrees of timing, if I add turbo, which I have 12 degrees of turbo, I believe, uh, which would put me, well, I would be off this chart, so I don't have the calculation for it, but let's just say if I were at 50, if I were to just do a linear comparison, so here if we jump, uh, actually this isn't linear, so I can't even do that, uh, but my estimation would be I would be somewhere around, uh, say, 34. 3,400, so 3,400. Uh, if I were to add that 12, uh, this would put me right at 50. So uh, that's a about a 10,000 KB difference that I'm estimating uh, I could potentially have. And uh, that is the reason why I'm going with something like this. Although I may not push it this much because of the amperage. Then again, this motor runs really cool and I do have a fan installed in the rear part of the motor, which is the side chassis of the vehicle. So I may be able to get away with such inefficiency. I mean, this is really hot, but I'm not sure because the voltage sag. Notice it's the same battery, and I did not do these in order. I did this one and then another one. So voltage sags quite a bit. Uh, that's something to consider because KV is based on voltage. So if we were to calculate these, well, here we go, RPMs. Uh, does it make much difference going four degrees? Uh, about 2,000 RPM difference, uh, even with the voltage sag. So these are things to consider and compare. Uh, please comment below. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching and subscribe if you have not. I hope this was helpful or at least interesting. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,